good morning, good evening, whatever it is, wherever you are YouTube. So it turns out, during the winter storage, this is something I hadn't really thought about, it turns out it's quite a regular problem, there's been someone staying in my caravan. Not someone I want staying in my caravan. We've had a furry little fecker. We've had a mouse. So what I've got to do, I've got a couple of ways of attacking this situation. First and foremost, I've got to find out where they're getting in and block everything off, because manufacturers are not as good as they should be, certainly not in the period where this caravan was built, at actually uh, preventing mice from getting in and blocking off all the entrances. So we're going to use a two-pronged attack. I'm going to seal up any entrance around pipes and things like that where they could be coming in, and then putting something down which is a deterrent. So initially to hand I've got mothballs. Now there's a lot of speculation, do they work or don't they? My theory is they can't do less than nothing. And I've got a proper deterrent spray which is arriving in a couple of days which I'll spray around, just around the legs, because one way or another they're coming up either around the wheels, around the corner steadies or around the jockey wheel. So if you put a strong deterrent around those things it should deter them from coming in because they can't fly. So let's get to work and clear up those droppings and we've got to be careful because they can be hazardous but first things before we clean anything is we've got to make sure we stop them coming in. So here they've been chewing at the awning bag which has been previously repaired but there's evidence of some chewing there. A little more evidence here and curiously curiously because there is nowhere they can go in here Evidence of droppings in the toilet room. Now I'm absolutely confident they can't get back out here. That means they must have a way in, and the most likely way in is at the pipework down behind the toilet here. And you can see the daylight, and that's almost certainly enough for them to be getting in. So we can see the gap around the pipes here. That's definitely enough. So we've got to get that sorted out. That's probably the prime ingress point. So, not the neatest job in the world, but that will stop anything getting in. I can't see any daylight around the pipes, so that's the point of entry stopped. Well, the primary point of entry has been established, what I now need to do is go around every area of the caravan and check, because we have evidence of eaten carrier bags in here, all of the areas where it could possibly be getting in. In this locker there's nowhere convincing. There is a little gap down here which shows evidence that have been moving through here. But what I'm gonna do while I've got the Sikoflex handy is just seal all of these seams to make sure there's no entry points. So not the neatest job in the world, not by a long shot. And there is some previous signs of damp in here as well, so that needs looking at. But there is no entry points around here now. Don't forget also any possible entry points such as wiring, 
it's highly unlikely he's getting in just here but it never hurts to plug any holes up don't forget there are some holes which are necessary such as the gas vents don't cover those up but make sure they've got a nice fine mesh over them some areas need um, a vent and an opening this mesh to my mind a little bit on the big side so for now I'm going to leave it but in the next video I'm going to bring the caravan up and do a deep clean and we'll also put some finer mesh into these vents. Again no obvious entry points here but sealing around this wheel arch will again do no harm at all so let's do that. And again, put a mothball in. Well, that's everything essentially rodent proof as far as I can see. I'm going to improve on vents around the gas drops and do a bit more of an in-depth check behind the cooker and the uh, fridge, but everything seems to be okay now. So the next step, which I may or may not put a video up because it's not the most interesting thing in the world, is to give everything a good disinfecting clean. But for now, the problem seems to be under control. There's certainly been no new rodent evidence in here. In the meantime, if you like these videos, hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you soon.